Eyewitness News continues to follow Pope Francis in America. The pontiff will touch down on U.S. soil next Tuesday. Eyewitness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio joins us right now. And obviously security is going to be massive for the uh, pontiff's uh, visit. This is not a standard visit, General. Absolutely not. This is unprecedented. Even the first time the Pope uh, visited the United States, it wasn't this large. Uh, you have to be concerned that this is a different time. Terrorism certainly is of concern to all of our agencies, but in this particular uh, circumstance, uh, this particular Pope uh, needs to receive as much physical security as possible, and he'll get that. All right, so Homeland Security and the Secret Service are kind of coordinating everything, but obviously local and state police are in on this too. He's making three stops, Washington, New York, and Philadelphia. Does that team travel with him, or do they have other things in place? As far as I know, some of the team will travel exactly with him from New York to, uh, from D.C. to New York as well as Philly. But there are other uh, systems in place in each of those cities that will be able to uh, take this and, and run with it. We, we need to also recognize that there are certain Vatican security individuals that will be with that contingent also. So there's a lot of coordination between local, state, federal, as well as the Vatican. We've seen that he does not follow his security detail. They want him to go one way, he goes the other way to meet people. That's a concern, right? Huge concern. Systems can be put in place, and he needs to follow that, and his Vatican security needs to understand that, and I think they will. If he deviates, that's a problem. A threat was already vetted out. They've been looking at this, what, for months? Months, absolutely for months, and what they're looking at is any potential threat. Every single threat needs to be vetted, and they need to look at it for seriousness and making sure that there isn't uh, a, a legitimate threat to make sure that they can push it aside and look at something real. All right. The General has more on our website. Please go to WPRI.com. And please stay with Eyewitness News for in-depth coverage of Pope Francis in America ahead of the pontiff's historic visit to the U.S. Now coming up, new at 6 tonight, we hear from a local couple who claims they experienced a medical miracle shortly after being blessed by Pope Francis. And on Eyewitness News at 6.30 on Fox Providence, why Philadelphia police are downplaying a potential threat against the pontiff. And then next week, both Danielle North and I will be following the Pope's U.S. journey. I will be in Philadelphia. Danielle North will bring you even more coverage from the Pontiff Stop in Washington, D.C.